Same spot as you. LT's hit. LT's hit. LT's hit back. Look. Army Sergeant Owen Lovelace. I am here in the Waterport District of the Pesh River Valley. Uh, we're attempting to make our way down to do uh, an operation, a clearing operation uh, with, with a suspected uh, Taliban uh, training camp is. But before we could even make it all the way down the mountain, we came under heavy fire. Uh, rocket, um, small arms, whatnot. They, they do not want us getting that far down the mountain to that area. Um, we've been pinned down here for quite some time now. I'd say at least 30 to 45 minutes. Um, but we have support from the helicopters. Uh, they're uh, attempting to locate the area uh, where we get shot at. Rosario, uh, hometown, San Juan, Puerto Rico, slash Bronx, New York. Came down here to Waterport, uh, cleared this uh, village uh, of enemy forces to give uh, Delta Company uh, some breathing room. Uh, about uh, about uh, 12 hours into it, uh, we got disrupted. We set up a defensive position, and uh, we've just been in the defense, um, waiting on other elements to get over here so we can continue clearing. Sergeant First Class, Joel Vab. Uh, from Alfred, Maine. Uh, and to answer your question, I think uh, I think we've definitely got the upper hand as far as the battle rhythm here. Uh, the contacts died down today, and a lot of the SVI traffic that's come through is letting us know that they're being they're getting taken out and they're running out of ammo and they're having trouble getting reinforcements due to a lot of the operational things that are going on around here to deny them of doing that. So I mean, yeah, I think we've got the upper hand definitely on the uh, on the op tempo. Gotta get morale up and keep on pushing till this thing's over. <laughs> 